Hey everyone, Mr. Newman here, and today we're going to do a practice quiz. I just want to show you how to do these problems. First off, you'll notice that we need to factor out the GCF on these first two problems. So I'm just going to tell you that the GCF here is 5x cubed because 5 goes into 5 and 15, and x cubed goes into x cubed and x to the fourth. When we divide that out, we get a 1 and then plus 3x. So I'm going to box that. Checking that, remember, is distributing that back out, and I would recommend doing that on the quiz. For part B, 6 is the greatest common factor for the coefficients, and A, the variable, is the co greatest, common fit, greatest coefficient, greatest common factor, sorry, uh, between the variables. If you see the same variable on both terms, remember, you can always take out a variable. When you take out 6a from 12a, you're left with 2. When you take out 6a from 18a squared, you're left with 3a. And that is the answer for part B. For the trinomials here, we're going to follow our steps. First off, notice that there's no greatest common factor, so we factor. Uh, we ask what are the factors of 10. Here they are, and we're asking which ones add to 7. These two do. So I'm going to draw my Punnett square, put the first term and the last term in the top left and the bottom right, and the 2 and 5 go with 2x and 5x. That's how we split the x's and you factor out the GCF on each row and column and you get x plus 2 times x plus 5. For part B, we're asking for factors of negative 20, so one of them has to be negative. Here they are listed real quick, and once you find the correct one, notice we want to add to negative 8, so we see 2 and negative 10 are the correct pair. And when we do our box, 2x and negative 10x get put, and that's how the x's get split up. So the GCF along each row, uh, each row and each column gives us x plus 2 times x minus 10, and that's the answer for that one. For the next one, we're doing difference of squares here. Remember, the way you start off is you start off with plus and minus in parentheses, and it's the first term is the square root of the first uh, term in the question. So the square root of x is just x, so I'm going to put an x there and there. And the second term in each parentheses is the second term of the binomial. So the square root of 49 is 7, so I'm going to put a 7 in each of those. And that is my answer. You can check that by using a Punnett square back out. Here we'll do the same process, plus and minus in the parentheses. We're going to do the square root of the first term, that's 10x. And the square root of the second term is 9y. And so you notice that is our answer. Next up, here on this part of the quiz, you won't know which one to do. So we need to follow our flow chart that's in our mind. Remember the first question though is always find the GCF. I'm gonna write GCF and put a check because there, the GCF, uh, there isn't a GCF, or in other words, the GCF is one. And so the next step we're gonna write, because it's a trinomial, is factors of. This is gonna be factors of 10, because one times 10 is 10 and we're looking for negative seven as a sum. So we need to write negative numbers here. So negative one, negative 10, and negative two and negative five. Negative two and negative five add up to negative seven. So when I write my Punnett square, my box, top left is a squared, bottom right is 10, and negative two and negative five is gonna be my split. When you find the GCF of those, notice the you have to have a negative here. This is where it's crucial that you check your multiplication back out, and when you do that, you get a minus two times a minus five is the correct answer. All right, number two, GCF. Well, the GCF is x squared, and once you do that, you notice we're down to a binomial. It's not a difference of squares, so we are done. For the next one, the GCF is one, so we'll not be pulling anything out there. So we're looking for, it's a trinomial, so factors of 16 times 1 is 16. The factors of 16 are 1 and 16, 2 and 8, 4 and 4. And we're looking for which of those sum to 8, well that's 4 and 4. So when I draw my Punnett square, top left and bottom right get filled out, and 4b and 4b are the two remaining boxes. When you find the GCF, you get 4b for the top and 1 for the bottom. Remember, sometimes 1 is a GCF. In fact, because that bottom right box is a 1, the GCF for that and anything will always be a 1. So we also get 4b and 1 on the top, 
and our solution is 4b plus 1 times 4b plus 1. The fourth one there, you notice that's a binomial. There is no GCF. So since it's a binomial, we check, is it a difference of squares? You notice 9 is a perfect square and 100 is a perfect square. So yes, it is. So plus and minus. The square root of 9n squared is 3n, and the square root of 100 is 10. So that is our answer. Next up, we've got this. There are four terms, so we're just going to put all four of those in the box. I did check for a GCF, and there isn't one. A little harder to look there, but there isn't one. So let's put all four terms in the box. One thing I noticed on people's classwork that they messed up on is when you factored out from the top, you did not get n squared, so watch very carefully for this. 25n and 40, the GCF is 5. 40n cubed and 64n squared is going to be 8n squared. If you wrote down 2n squared or 4n squared, when you multiply it back out, you'll notice it won't work. So make sure you do that step where you check it by multiplying it back out. 5n is the GCF of the left column. And 8 is the GCF of 64n squared and 40. So real quick, I'm going to check these. Right here, 5n times 8n squared is indeed 40n cubed. 8n squared times 8 is 64n squared. 5 times 5 is 25, and the n makes it 25n. And 8 times 5 is indeed 40. So you want to go through and check all of those, make sure you got the correct setup. Once you do that, now we can write down 5n plus 8 times 8n squared plus 5. For the last one, we want to check for the GCF, and there is a GCF. 3 gets pulled out. When you pull out a 3, this is the trinomial that's left over. So now we're going to write factors of 6, because 6 is the 1 here, the invisible 1 in front of the A, times 6. Remember, once you take out a GCF, you ignore the GCF until the very end, and we deal with just what's in the parentheses. The factors of 6 are 1 and 6 and 2 and 3, and we want to see what sums to 7. So that'd be 1 and 6. Draw my Punnett square. I'm going to put 1a and 6a in the diagonals. And when I find that the GCF, I get a and 6 and a and 1. Now, if it would help, you could write a big 3 in front of that because really, 3 times all that stuff in the box is still our polynomial. And that helps me remember that I need to put a 3 at the end. So we're going to write a plus 1 times a plus 6. And don't forget the 3 in front. Put a box around all that because that is our answer. Thank you for watching.